I'm sure that you know already that you can use uh, ChatGPT or Google or Microsoft's email assistance to help you write an email. But did you know that they can actually become a strategic advisor to your business, to your team and to yourself? Let me show you how. It's all got to do with the way that we prompt these generative AI tools. It's easy, but when you know how, you produce an amazing virtual assistant for yourself. Uh, first, let me show you, in case you didn't know, uh, that if we just go into any of these systems and say, please help me to write an email. So here I said, I'm going to write an email to all of my clients, telling them that I have a ChatGPT uh, workshop and uh, that they should sign up. Now, I didn't really need to give too much more information because I know that ChatGPT knows about itself. And so, well, that's a reasonably good email. Uh, and the content there, I wouldn't copy and paste it exactly, but that's a good start and uh, it would take me another minute or two to edit and send that email out. But it would feel generic. And this is one of the uh, concerns and criticisms that people have of these systems. It feels generic. And it is. But that's not the system's fault. That's your fault. So what we need to be doing is using uh, the early version of GPT was called chat GPT for a reason. We chat to the system. We give it more information and that allows it to help us more. But here is now where the superpower starts. Let me show you this. What do we need to do is we need to take a little bit of time to set up a chat string here uh, with GPT. And you'll see what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it that I want it to act as an advisor for me. I want it to be a partner for me. And it's going to do a whole lot of things. I need to write some marketing emails. We need to recruit somebody uh, to help us do some research. Um, we do a lot of leadership development as a team. So there's a whole lot of things I want it to help me with. And here is the super prompt for you. Ask me as many questions as you need to in order to understand the work that I've given you. Boom, off ChatGPT goes. I've seen people do this prompt where it says, ask me 20 questions or ask me 10 questions. Uh, ChatGPT, you can see here, just chose seven questions to ask me. And uh, you can see it's already started to understand by the examples I gave it. Uh, what it's going to do for me. And it's already asking me targeted questions. So now I did take a little bit of time. I'm going to speed this, this up for you. And uh, well, you can pause the video and look at some of my answers. This is real. I'm not making this stuff up. So if you want to know a little bit more about my company, Tomorrow Today Global, uh, you're welcome to pause uh, and have a look at some of the answers to these seven questions uh, that I gave. Um, this is all public information, but this is real. And what I've done now is I have trained GPT to know who I am. And all of that information is now going to be used in what I ask it to do next. So it now tells me that it's ready to help me with a few things, including marketing emails, which is obviously what we were looking for. So thanks, GPT. I, I see you can do leadership development and strategic support and content promotion. Fantastic. This is everything that I want. Now we're ready to go. Let's redo that question again. Ask GPT um, if it would please uh, send an email uh, to my clients. But I'm going to give it just slightly more information because I wanted to know this is going to existing clients. Most of our clients are senior leaders or, or team managers. Um, so it must be short and sharp to, to the point. Uh, uh, my experience with marketing emails from ChatGPT is it thinks marketing emails need to be three or four pages long with all the detail. Maybe that would be an advert or something like that. But in, in my experience, uh, anyway, I want something shorter. Let's see what it does. Ah, yeah, no, here we go. This is way, way too many uh, paragraphs here. But I mean, this is not bad, right? So it's now picking up information 
that it knows about me uh, and, and my company. Um, it's inviting us to come discover hidden potential, gain a competitive edge, foster innovation. These are words that would attract uh, senior leaders. These are the types of things that our clients are working on. And I do actually think uh, that uh, learning more about ChatGPT is going to be useful uh, for our clients. Uh, but uh, that's a little bit, little bit wordy. I could just take that and edit myself or I could get ChatGPT to do some work for me and say, that's good, it's a bit too long, can you make it shorter? And off it goes and gives me something that uh, is probably a little bit punchier. So if you're watching this video because you read that email, uh, you'll notice I did a little bit more editing uh, to it, but not much. ChatGPT is now set up to help me. Here's the cool thing though. What I've got now is a chat string. This is another superpower uh, for you to understand. That having done all of this work, ChatGPT is now saving this particular conversation. So the knowledge that it has about my company and about me is now saved and I can use this at any stage. So for example, I can now go and ask it another question. I'm going to go to new chat. I don't want to use up the word count that I've got in the string. Depending on the version of ChatGPT you're using, there is a limit uh, to the number of words that you can interact with. Um, in any one conversation. And then when the words are used up, you've got to start a new conversation. But now you would have to retrain ChatGPT, answer all those questions again. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the limit is and it keeps changing, so you'd need to check. And if you have the pro version, there are obviously a lot more words available. But still, make sure that anytime you're asking a new question, or you're having a new conversation that you start a new chat. So just ask it a, a little bit about its limitations. We knew this already, but I keep checking to see if it's updated. Uh, when I'm recording this, there's a limit uh, that it doesn't know any new information after September 2021. Anyway, for our purposes, that doesn't really matter because it does know about itself and we're talking about ChatGPT. Now here's the, here's the trick. I'm gonna go back to that previous chat. And by the way, I'm actually gonna rename the chat so that it's easy for me to find later. This is my tomorrow today support uh, chat. And when I click on it, it loads up not just the words, but the entire brain behind this conversation. And so now just as an example, I'm not sure I'd ever do this in real life, but I'm going to say we've actually employed somebody and uh, they're going to be focusing on uh, doing some research for us about demographics and an aging population. This is in fact some work we're currently doing, um, but we already have our team in place. But anyway, let's just say her name is Maria. Please write a nice email for me. And what you again look at, if I, I'm not going to pause now, but you can pause the video if you want to read this full email, I'll put it all up on the screen for you. What I really like about what ChatGPT has done here is that it has picked up some of what I told it. Uh, you know, we're a virtual team. You, you need to work independently. You know, this is a platform for you to grow your own expertise. It, it really is saying things that I would say um, and it's understood the context in which this email has to be created. Again, this is a, the fourth time I'm saying it in the short video. I wouldn't just copy and paste this because I think people get a sense of when something is real and human and when something is AI generated. Um, but if you look for some of the other videos that I have produced around ChatGPT, you'll find some other videos in which we can train ChatGPT to use a particular voice. You can train it to use your own voice so it sounds more like you. Um, there's a lot of other things that we can do with ChatGPT. Make sure that you look out uh, for some of the other videos that we've got available. Uh, sign up uh, for some of my courses, of course. Uh, this is what I do for a living, helping my clients to see the future and make sense of it today. Thank you for joining me in ChatGPT Superpower Land.